Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. Today we are going to be talking all about water-fed brushes and basically which one is right for you to pick for the job. Why are we talking about this topic? Because it's extremely important and myself, I've gone through lots and lots of trial and error with different brushes over the years and it's really, really helped me understand which brush is right for each job. Now, there are many, many different styles of brushes. But before we get into that, why do we need to understand what brush is best for the job? Brushes, when you think about it, are the same as your applicator or mop when we think about traditional methods of window cleaning. Um, the mop, the sleeve, or the brush is what really agitates the dirt on the window. And then our squeegee is basically the water that comes from this, that rinses off all that dirt, allowing the pure water that's still in the glass to dry perfectly clean. What I wanna run through here is kind of my least favorite to my favorite. My least favorite are anything that's like all nylon brushes. Now this brush right here, I believe is an all nylon brush. None of this stuff here is overly aggressive. It's meant for maintenance cleans, okay? So as you can see here, this brush is what they call a radial brush or a sill brush. It has a lot more surface area coming over here. Not nearly as much surface area as this brush here, okay? So this is great to basically clean frames, um, clean the sills, and clean the window at the same time. So while you're scrubbing here, you're also getting that scrub on the frame beneath, and you're getting all that dirt agitated. So when you rinse, all that dirt comes off of the frames. These are particularly good for, I would say, um, maintenance cleans on commercial buildings. They have a really good glide on the glass. They're super, super quick as far as that goes, always smooth, and have a good spread on the glass as well. Next, I would move into um, these kind of brushes. What is this kind of brush? There's other brushes out there like this, such as like um, the Window Weapon from Reach It. Um, this particularly one is my favorite because I think it's the most well built out of them. But saying that, I think it has some room to grow as far as what it can do. What do we have here? We have a tucker swivel with an angle change right here. We just undo that dial. We can change the angles of it right. We can change the tightness or the looseness of the swivel. And then we have a tucker over the top rinse bar there on the top. You can see all those holes right there. And then we have the white pad on the front here and this is what we're gonna use to agitate the glass, to agitate the dirt on the glass. And then basically you have the Velcro there in which the white pad will stick on. When you buy this brush, it comes with 12 more pads like this. It's not expensive to get more pads. But what I find, it's great for the glass, but it just has a little bit of trouble of getting into corners, cleaning frames with it. I don't particularly like very much. Um, and you also don't have the options for jets if you were to have low pressure. So I would say this is a good brush to have in your toolbox, but it's not the brush you're gonna need for everything. And that's what you need. You need a brush that you can use everywhere, okay? So let's get into the next two brushes, which are the final two brushes, but these are two brushes you can use anywhere. So our next brush is the hybrid brush. What is the hybrid brush? The hybrid brush takes DuPont nylon bristles here. The Tucker one and the Zero one have DuPont nylon bristles, so I can't say that any other hybrid brush 
has that nice of bristles there. So what does that mean? They're gonna they're gonna stay a lot better, a lot longer. Um, they're just high quality, basically. So you have those nylon bristles out here, which is gonna give you a great glide on the glass. And then you have the aggressive bore hair here in the middle to really agitate the dirt, especially from the you know the really the parts that are really really dirty. And you know here is an 18 inch version. This has been used quite quite a bit. You can see that the um, the nylon here isn't as good and is a little bit more dirty than this brush. But an 18 inch is nice. But what I find about this, and I like the 12 inch more, is that when you're putting this on the glass, you have to put a lot of pressure to get these bristles to move out and to get that boar hair agitated. So you see there. That boar hair is not overly agitated, and I've had this for well over a year and used it a lot. But I find that I like a 12 inch brush more than I like a 16 inch brush. And that goes um, down the board with any sort of brush. This here is a zero hybrid brush. Um, again, you know, boar hair in the middle, um, just as tight as the Tucker one. Really, these two are very, very similar, are great in quality, and I would highly suggest both. I would say the only downfall I've had with the hybrid brush is with the nylon bristles, and that's just for dirty clean. Sometimes I find that the nylon bristles just don't agitate the dirt enough, no matter how much you scrub. So that's why I really, really like boar hair brushes. So let's get into that. Okay, so here is five boar hair brushes, two of which are not good to use anymore, okay? So boar hair. Boar hair is the best for dirty, dirty cleans, okay? If you have a window that's way higher than your ladder and you have a water-fed pole, pull out the boar hair, okay? Boar hair I use on all homes. Uh, it's the only thing I use on homes because it just, it's, it's the brush that I use when I know I need to get stuff done. It, it has never, ever let me down. What do some people say that's negative about boar hair? Boar hair grabs the glass more. You can't move side to side as nice as you can with a nylon or a hybrid brush, okay? Um, it's a little harder to do funky angles at high heights because you just, you have that grab there of the boar hair. But that aggressiveness of the boar hair is grabbing the dirt and lifting that dirt off the glass. The one thing about that is, is you consistently want to clean your boar hair brushes. All I do to clean them is just soak them in pure water um, every couple weeks and that kind of lifts the dirt out of the brush. But it's a good idea to do with boar hair because it will grab the dirt more. So if you do have really dirty windows, I highly suggest rinsing those windows very, very, um, very, very thoroughly. Um, here are many different styles of boar hair brushes. This is the Unger boar hair brush. The one thing I don't like about this brush, these are a little bit longer than, I mean, look at the, the length there of that. It's just a little bit too long. And then one thing a lot of companies do is they forget the whole entire middle. Okay, I don't know why they do that, but I'd really like to see more companies do what Tucker does. And they fill in the whole entire middle. And that, when you're, when you're cleaning with this and you're going up and down the glass, you can see the glass sheeting, which is what you want, okay? Um, sheeting is basically what you find when it's hydrophilic glass and you're rinsing. It, it looks like a waterfall coming down. When you get hydrophobic, it just looks like rain, like little dots just dripping down, right? But with boar hair, after you go down, you can almost see any type of glass have that sheeting effect. Now, here's the thing about boar hair you need to know is that you will need to, at, at a time, replace your boar hair brush because here's what happens. So this is a brand new boar hair brush that we just put together here at the beginning of this video. This here is a pretty old boar hair brush. Um, that is two years old, but hasn't been used in a year. So you see the difference there, okay? You see the middle there is really, really gone. 
And then this is the one I just got done using after this season. And you can see there, I mean, the sides in itself are really worn out. Both sides there. The middle, it's, it's nice. They don't really, it's not like it's pulling it out. It's just wearing down after being used so much. And then just the overall length there, you can just tell, you know, it needed to be replaced. I've still used this and had great results. I used it today, had great results. But like I said earlier, boar hair grabs onto the glass a lot more. So it's nice to be able to change it out, get a little bit longer bristles, and you get a little bit more glide with that. So that's what's really, really nice about it. Well, that's it pretty much as far as, you know, how to choose a brush. I'd highly, highly suggest you Tucker brushes. Tucker brushes are the top of the line, high quality brushes. Um, accessories wise, I would definitely suggest the Tucker over the top rinse bar. There's also a new zero facelift rinse bar and then also the bronze wool. I like this bigger one. They have a mini one as well. The DA components bronze wool pad here um, that attaches into your you know, attachments that you have that go into the pole. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. But those are kind of my suggestions as far as how you're going to choose the water fair brush that's right for you. But if you have any questions, comment below. I will help you to the best of my abilities, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.